astronomers have been amused for years by a mysterious, cloud-covered planet that turns out to be less hot than anticipated and pleasantly shiny. The James Webb Space Telescope made that discovery. In this video, we'll find out which planet it is. The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful space telescope to date. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope is probing the cosmos to uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang to exoplanet formation and beyond. It is one of NASA's great observatories, huge space instruments that include the likes of the Hubble Space Telescope that peer deep into the universe. Exoplanet research is one of the James Webb Space Telescope's stated scientific objectives. On this front, it has made progress as seen by the well-known TRAPPIST-1 system, which contains seven Earth-sized worlds. While the expectation of discovering habitable, life-supporting planets drives much of the discussion regarding exoplanets, there is much more to learn than whether specific planets can support life. We still have a lot of unanswered issues regarding how planets form, how their atmospheres evolve, and why some types are so prevalent yet so rare in our solar system. With so many exoplanets seeking to be examined, scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope must be selective in their selections. That procedure lead one group of astronomers to GJ1214b. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope detected a faraway planet outside our solar system, revealing what appears to be a highly reflective planet with a steamy atmosphere. They used the James Webb's MIRI and low-resolution spectrometer to observe the mini-Neptune. In 2009, the M-Earth project discovered GJ1214b, its only planet using the transit method. Follow-up Hubble observations revealed it was a water world with a dense, steamy atmosphere. The extrasolar planet Gliese 1214 b is an example of a mini-Neptune, a planet that is less massive than the solar system's ice giant Neptune. It is approximately eight times the mass of Earth and has a radius of around 2.75 Earth radii. Mini-Neptunes are usually absent from our solar system, despite being the most prevalent type of planet discovered throughout the Milky Way. As a result, astronomers have little information of these worlds. Similarly, Due to its highly reflective atmosphere, Gliese 1214b has been impossible to detect until James Webb aimed its laser gaze towards the alien world. The entire planet is completely covered by some kind of haze or cloud layer. The planetary mass and radius are compatible with the composition of mostly water contained in a hydrogen-helium envelope that contributes to barely 0.5% of the planet's mass. The atmosphere is most likely escaping hydrodynamically, indicating that it has evolved significantly through time. It was the first mini-Neptune discovered with an atmosphere, and only the second with the mass and radius determined. Gliese 1214, located about 40 light-years away in the constellation Ophiuchus, is extremely hot. As a result, scientists aren't expecting to find liquid water oceans on GJ 1214b but they do believe the planet's atmosphere has a significant amount of water vapor. This thick, steamy envelope has helped this highly reflective exoplanet maintain its aura of mystery. Astronomers used a unique mix of techniques to peer through GJ1214b's thick atmosphere layer. As it orbits its red dwarf parent star, Gliese 1214, in just 1.6 Earth days, GJ1214b is tidally locked which means it has a permanent day side that faces the stars and an everlasting night side that faces out into space. Observing the planet as it vanished behind its star and reappeared on the other side allowed scientists to observe both its day and night sides to better detail its atmosphere. Astronomers use telescopes to observe an exoplanet transiting in front of its star. The light from the stars goes through the atmosphere and is analyzed to detect chemical components and other properties. In this case, though, they track the planet for nearly a whole orbit. The powerful MERI instrument on the James Webb Space Telescope was used to observe the planet as it orbited its star. Its studies resulted in a thermal map of the planet that depicted both its day and night sides, unveiling more intricacies of its atmosphere. Being able to get a full orbit was critical to understanding how the planet passes on heat from day to night. 
There is a lot of difference between day and night. It's colder at night than it is during the day. Temperatures range from 279 to 165 degrees Celsius. This immense temperature change informed the team that its atmosphere must be made up of heavier molecules like H2O and CH4. If the lighter hydrogen dominated its atmosphere, it would indicate a different creation and evolution. A lot of hydrogen usually means that a planet is created of the same stuff as the solar nebula, which means it's made of the same stuff as its star. However, water and methane may provide vital clues to the planet's evolution and its watery origin. Because hydrogen is so light, planets often lose it from their atmospheres. Every day, the Earth loses around 90 tons of hydrogen and helium into space. In fact, many Neptunes are often thought of as missing link planets since they began as smaller, denser versions of Neptune that lost massive amounts of hydrogen and helium to shrink to their current sizes. The astronomers also discovered evidence that GJ 1214b developed more away from its star than its present close orbit allows. Temperatures on the planet might have risen substantially as it spiraled inwards, melting ice and liquid water and creating a water vapor filled atmosphere. While the planet is too hot for us, it is far cooler than projected. This is because to its extraordinarily bright atmosphere, which surprised the astronomers reflecting a huge portion of the light from its parent star rather than absorbing it and becoming hotter. The new findings could lead to a better understanding of a planet type that has been cloaked in mystery. Many Neptunes, or sub-Neptunes, are the most common sort of planet in the galaxy, but they're a mystery to us because they don't exist in our solar system. So far, measurements reveal that they are roughly similar to a scaled-down version of our own Neptune. Aside from that, little is known. More observations will be required to learn more about GJ1214b and the formation histories of other planets in the mini-Neptune class. While this planet's atmosphere appears to be mostly water, a major methane component is also probable. Furthermore, making broader inferences about how many Neptunes arise will necessitate additional in-depth observations of them. In order to answer some of the unanswered issues concerning the planet, the team will now make an effort to gather more information about GJ1214b. Astronomers may someday be able to better comprehend how many Neptunes arise and develop as a result of this. Even the reason why our solar system lacks such a world may be discovered by observing a larger population of such exoplanets. I hope you liked the video. If you want to watch more content like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.